I want us to see that forgiveness, true forgiveness, protects. Protects. As I was studying verse 1, it was so strange to me. We see again that Joseph cries out, make everyone go out from me. And so no one stood with him while Joseph made himself known to his brothers. Why, why did he make everybody leave? I found that so strange. And then I began to think, you know what? True forgiveness protects the one that you're forgiving. True and total forgiveness doesn't want to see the one being forgiven harmed. In other words, Joseph was protecting their reputation. He's protecting their reputation. You see, this was a family affair. And Joseph knew that he wanted to bring his family back to Egypt. And he didn't want the Egyptian servants, the Egyptian community, to see or feel that his brother and his families, that their reputation would be tarnished. This was just between him and, and the brothers. That's all that needed to be worried about right then. True forgiveness protects. He didn't want the Egyptians to say, well, well there goes Reuben. Whoa, man, Reuben's the one, you know. Our, our guy Joseph, Reuben's the one that wanted to, to, to throw him in the pit. Oh, there goes Judah. Judah, that's the guy that said, our Joseph, our, our guy we love. Joseph, uh, Judah's the one that said, let's, let's sell him. So Joseph said, no, I, I don't want anyone to know. This, this was just between you and us, brothers. This is us right here, family affair. True forgiveness protects I couldn't help but think about 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8, that love covers a multitude of sins. You see, love covers, hate exposes. Let me tell you, friends, it is really an unforgiving spirit that wants the world to know just how much you were hurt. That's actually an unforgiving spirit. I want everyone to know how much this person destroyed my life. That's not true forgiveness. True forgiveness protects. 